Hey, Jet Squad. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. How everybody doing today? Hope you're making it happen for yourself because that's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. When all this is over and I get over the horizon, I got a lot to tell y'all. Y'all gonna be like, dang, what? You just doing all of that? Yeah, doing all of that. Anyway, y'all, hey, what's happening? Make it happen for yourself. T-shirt still available, $20. Small, medium, large, extra, no, small, medium, large, extra large. Yeah, I don't have no more two X. Small, medium, large, extra large, red, white, and black, $20. Email me, I'll email you back with your shipping and handling after you give me your address and every, all that good stuff. And then you can cash at me your $20. $20, y'all. Make it happen for yourself. You know, it's thought-provoking. Mind-stimulating. Okay? You know what I'm saying? For real. I love water. This water ain't as cold as I want it to be. I put it in the freezer, but I ain't waiting to let it last long enough. Anyway, y'all, I got to get on here and talk about... Let me tell you, before I get started, I love black love. Oh, before that, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the thing now. Hit it now. Hit it. Boom. Don't cost you nothing. Boom. It's free. Hit it. Right? Uh, and all of my social media stuff is down in the description box, including my email and my cash app. Thank you in advance for any cash app because I need it, y'all. I wouldn't say it if I didn't need it. I swear to God I wouldn't, right? Um, yeah, I need it. So, you know. Cash at me, please. Listen, y'all, my adrenaline is going, right? Like, y'all know I was sick, and I'm, I, must, I know I sound a little nasally still, but my energy level was high. It's up, right? Uh, as y'all can probably tell. My, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going 20,000 times, right? Because uh, I'm so excited about life. Let me just tell y'all something. I just watched The Shy. The Shy gave me my life today, right? I love black love, which is what I'm talking about today. I love black love, right? I want it for myself. I want it for all my friends. I want it for all of you all. I want it for everyone. Love makes the world go round just like money, right? I love black love. Now, I got to get on here and retract some ish that I said yesterday or day before whenever I said it about Sheree and Martell. Now, Martell's, and I can't cuss because they penalize me hard, y'all. My last video, they just been penalizing me. I don't cuss nowhere near as much as other folks, but anyway, I want to cuss. This, this is really a cussing moment, but I'm going to refrain as best I can. Martell got his funky butt on the internet streets talking about he's mad at Sheree for saying they dating. Now, let's define dating. Let's define dating. Dating is different than we go together. You my man, I'm your woman. Y'all do know that, right? That that's a step. Dating is the first step. Once we become one, that's a that's some steps down the road, right? Now then, Negro, you were seen with your arms around her. We've all seen the footage. I have. With your arms around her, you all were on a bike date taking pics. Now, he says he's just going building a pool for her at her home in Atlanta. First of all, Negro, you don't have your builder's license. That's number one. Unless they don't require that in the state of Georgia. Okay? Number two, um, how, why would you so quickly deny what was we seen with our own eyes? Dating means just that, a date. We went out and had some fun. That don't mean we exing. That don't mean we sexing. That don't mean nothing. We went on a date. Y'all know how many dates? I used to be a serial daddy. You know how many dates I done been on? I don't even know the people's name. Dating is nothing. Like Sheree said, I'm just having fun. You were her fun for that day, Negro. Don't get on here. See, this is what I don't like about Negroes. Don't get on here and try to shame and embarrass her. Don't do that. Don't do that, Martell. Now, I was just starting. You were starting to get on the roll on the good foot with the peoples. Let's not forget that you a cheater and a liar and a narcissistic dummy. Let's not forget that, okay? I was giving you the benefit of the doubt, which I extend to everyone, because that's who I am. I give the benefit of the doubt. I want to see the good in everyone. But the moment you show me the bad, I ain't like we forgot what just happened. We ain't forget. We try to give you some life and love, right? You immediately fire off and start talking about this woman, and then had a the nerve to say, she not your type. What's your type, little young dummies? Tell me your type, little young dummies. 
Because clearly Mel wasn't your type. Couldn't hold on to her. Only one seen to be hanging by a string is uh, Ariane, a.k.a. Coleslaw. So that's your type? That's your type? Because Sheree, like I told y'all, is a grown woman. I knew that was a different dynamic for him. You know, not saying Mel is not a grown woman, but Sheree is older. I think Mel is like 36. Uh, Sheree is 53. She don't have to be a mama almost, right? In these days and age, she is. So this is a different level of grown woman that I knew he was not used to. I knew that. But to try to shame her and talk about her, now I got to talk about you. Because first of all, she would have been an asset to you. You benefit from being with her. I don't see a benefit she having from being with you except for just having a good time. That's it. Which is what she said. She's just having fun. You don't have the nerve to put your raggedy self out there and say that about that woman. Listen, let this be another cautionary tale, ladies. Don't date beneath you. Because when you do, them Negroes don't appreciate it. Sheree is much more accomplished. She may not, I don't know how, what her money level is. I don't know what his money level is. But she's much more accomplished than him. I can say that. Much more respected than him. And for the nerve. That was a step up for you, bro. That was a step up. So go on back down there. Let me tell y'all something about cheating men. They like to be down there. Don't ever get it twisted. They like to be down there. Think back, ladies. When your man cheated, did he cheat above you or beneath you? Just think back. Think back. You have your answer. Sheree was too much for him. And that one day probably showed it. Now, he acted like she told it. The people, somebody was taking pictures. Now, I was watching another blogger. Who was it? Who was it? No, 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 no. This morning on um, uh, one of the radio stations in Shamia's on with uh, Big Tigger, Candy was on there with her. And the people were asking some of Candy about Sheree and Martell and what she thought about it. And of course, Candy didn't really want to say too much, but she did say somebody that she know that's a friend of Martell's did the same thing. They Either he did it or somebody he know did it. They were going out with somebody and they wanted some, that they was coming to Candy's place and they wanted the table next to them to be clear so somebody could sit there and take pictures of them and stuff. And see, people be trying to act like, oh, I didn't know the paparazzi or I didn't know nobody was looking at us. First of all, they was in Smyrna. Okay, a nice little suburban city outside of Atlanta, right? I don't know if the paparazzi around there, but somebody, y'all knew somebody was taking them pictures. And it shows Sheree taking a picture of y'all, like, cut it out, cut it out. And I'm going to tell y'all what thing happened, because I can, I can think up the story. I believe this is what happened. Y'all ready? Coleslaw, a.k.a. Ariane Curry, saw this and checked him. Oh, that's what you like? You like old ladies now? Because, you know, she, she has a problem with older women. Because she thinks that everybody older is, is mad at her for cheating with, uh, you know, causing the demise of that marriage, right? Uh, it take two. It was him and her. But she doesn't want to take any. See, let me tell you something. Ariana's is dumb. I told y'all they dumbness match. They got the same dumbness level. She don't want nobody to tell her nothing. And he don't want nobody to tell him nothing. Right? So they're going to sit in that dumbass bubble together forever. They're going to be twisted up in that forever. And anytime, because he's a public figure, so to speak, anytime he goes out with someone, it's going to be shown. It don't have to be Sheree. It could have been Betty Boop. Anybody that he goes around with is going to be shown, especially if he's doing the one calling to make sure everybody see. They ain't going to have nerve to get mad. Now, I don't know if he did it. I'm just saying he did. Because Sheree used to being in the public eye. He's the one searching, reaching, and grabbing for attention and money and fame and all this other stuff, right? And he's a narcissist. This is what narcissists do. They do this, and then they flip on you. Listen, I lived with one for 10 years, over 10 years. And I've been knowing him about 15, 16 now. This is what they do. This is what they do. They will flip on you, and they can be mean-spirited, right? You got your nerves. You got your nerves, right? All y'all did was go on a bike ride, but I'm telling you, the side piece over there with her disheveled, depressed self, she ch checked him on that. So now he got to go out publicly and say, um, we wasn't dating. I'm giving you So where was the pool on the bike? Where was the pool? Where is the pool? Why did y'all have to have it on y'all gym clothes to build a pool? Was she helping you? Like, come on, bro. Come on. I, now you're a liar. You're a liar, too. You're a liar, and you try to hurt this lady feeling, knowing that she just... See, this is what happens, y'all. I'm going to say this again when you date beneath. Not saying men won't do this, but Tyrone is out here saying stuff about Sheree, too. She knew what was going on, this and that and that and that, and she just needed a storyline. Maybe she did. So what? That's her job. She's on a reality show to get a storyline. What I'm saying is, 
She gave you raggedy Negroes a chance, and y'all blew the shot. You blew the shot. She gave you a chance, you blew the shot, right? Because uh, you want to hurt her for whatever reason. Um, and if Sheree don't watch it, if she don't start dating at her level or, or over, uh, these men are going to attack her from the inside. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna, she's going to be at home second-guessing herself, uh, trying to find her self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? She's a beautiful woman. She's a beautiful shape. She's got a beautiful home. She's doing good for herself. Forget them people. Forget them people. I'm just saying, I can't cuss. I was horrified when I heard that. My subscribers was leaving it in my comments. People was emailing me. I'm looking at it on the blogs when I got home last night. Like, come on, dude. Really? Really? You? She ain't his type. What's your type? That's what I want to know. What's your type? Little dummies. I said that. That's your type. Little dummies. Sheree was much too grown. And if they did fall out or he fell out with her or he mad with her, let's just say he didn't know the people was taking pictures. He didn't know that this was going to happen. Let's just say he didn't know this was going to happen. He's a reality star, and he didn't know his reality was going to get on the internet streets. Let's just say he didn't know, right? Why are you mad at her? She just asked him a question. She said, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I heard that. I'm having fun. I heard the audio. I'm having fun, right? I'm telling y'all, these Negroes, I don't know what has happened to black men, right? I just don't know. I do not know. And this is definitely not a male bashing situation, but because me and so many of my close friends, I ain't talking about my far away friends. I'm talking about my close girlfriends are single all over the country. I got friends in all different states. And then we're all experiencing the same episodes and situations. It's something going on. Um, and I, you know, I got my theory and I'm going to talk about it later, especially for my age group. I have my theory before these younger generations. I believe they didn't have a role model because my generation messed them up, period. Messed them up. That has to do with drugs, alcohol, neglect, abuse, all of that that they saw or did not see in their household. Right. Um, I, I just, you know, you just going to get on there and talk about this woman. If you was a man, let me tell you something. A real man would have said, I don't have anything to say about it or we're just friends. He would have been diplomatic and nice about it. You going to say that she not your type. I hope Sheree never talks to him and I hope she don't spend no money with him. Now, look, check this out. He's so dumb. You want to offend this woman. Let's just say that's the case. You, she's, you, you, you building her a pool. You think she want to spend money with you now? Dumb, dumb. Nobody hardly want to work with you. No way. You think she want to spend some money with you now? Listen, if he's listening to Ariana, if Ariana called, cussed him out, cried, whatever she did, and then you had to retract and say, no, nah, she ain't my type. Because Ariana is 30, 30, whatever she is, four, two, three, whatever she is, right? So now, uh, you know, Sheree ain't your type. Sheree the type you need to be with, little dummy. That's the type you need to be with. Somebody that can tell you something. If nothing else, she has life experience. She has life experience. You trying to get your business. You trying to pass the test. She could have helped you pass the test, which I thought. That's what I thought. I want you know. I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I want everybody to do well. I want to see the good in everybody. I'm thinking she gonna help you with your test. Y'all gonna hang out, kick it, have fun, and she gonna help you. And then in turn, you can help her at some point. Like, come on. I'm so sick of Negroes. I don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? And I've been debating, let me just say this. I have been debating about, talking about this situation, about a, a guy that's on, on Instagram that flips in and out of gay and straight. Um, I've been thinking about it and debating it, right? And I didn't realize that I was following the ex-fiance, but I am. I didn't even realize it until last night. And so I saw one of the other bloggers, um, Nick at Night, talk about it, right? I have a lot to say about it because what I, I may look, I may be looking at it with a different eye because I see deeper problems with this situation. And, but I want to discuss it nicely. I can discuss it unnicely, but I want to discuss it nicely because these are folks' lives. And I, I see something real serious about this situation. So I may do it in a day or two. I don't know what I'm off. Maybe Monday. I may do it Monday. Um, but I, I'm sick of Negroes. Y'all, no, black woman is the, the most disrespected creature on earth. The most disrespected. You know, and we are the strongest. We are. We strongest. We are the strongest. Mentally, we are the strongest, right? Um, 
I watched the show today. I'm, I'm talking about it because I watched the shot. Back to what I was saying about the shot. I just watched the shot, and the shot gave me a feel-good feeling. The shot made me feel good about black folks. It made me feel good about black love of all ages, all generations. I just, this, this episode, this today, y'all got a uh, show time. Watch the shot. Shot made me feel good. Now, I love P, P Valley, and it's coming on Sunday, but that's a different judge, right? But the shot, we might, it feels like I know these people and it's real life issues, right? Not saying P Valley is not, it's just we don't all experience all that stuff, right? But the shot made me feel real good about black love. It made me happy. It made me so happy, right? Um, and then when I see Negroes act like this, like, you got your nerve. You shouldn't have said anything. But he had to say that, I'm saying, because maybe he was forced to by coleslaw. Because the fact that he said it wasn't his type. What, what is your type? Because your wife was, uh, uh, was uh, a businesswoman, beautiful, smart, intelligent. Then your side piece was a little dummy, ain't got nothing going for herself. So what's, which one is your type, bro? Which one is your type? Tell me your type. This is obviously got successful black women. That's obvious. Okay? I'm mad about that. And I got your back, Sheree. I got your back, Sheree. I didn't like that. You know, because for any man, if you date anyone, you're not to tell or talk. I don't believe a man should talk bad about somebody that he's seen or did see. I, that's just my thing. I just... I just, that makes the man look bad. You know, it's, you're not a man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. So that's what I got to say about that. Because I got to talk about something else, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm going to upload a video about something else that I thought. And initially, I didn't pay any too much attention. Y'all know how I do. I hear stuff and I got to process it, right? Then I have to take time to check out, check it out and see what's going on with it. And it, it, do I want to talk about it, right? But I saw some disturbing videos last night. And I'm going to talk about it in my next video. So anyway, y'all, thumbs down on Martell, right? Thumbs down on Martell. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all know I got my baby, my baby goal of 3,000 and my bigger goal of 5,000. I'm taking it in increments, y'all. I'm taking it in increments. Um, steady wins the race, right? Um, I really like what I do. And I wish I, like I said, I had time to do more. I could really do a whole lot, but I have to work a job. You know what I'm saying? I got to work a job so I don't have the time. But as my numbers grow um, and maybe I start to make money with this, I won't have to work and I will be able to do because there's a lot of stuff I want to say. And a lot of, I got a lot of creative things going on in my head. I just don't have the time for it, y'all. But anyway, y'all, listen, uh, I just want to say happy Friday, y'all. Um, I'm so happy that they got them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did it come out? That didn't come all the way out, did it? Oh, Lord. But I'm just so happy today. I'm just so happy today. And I wish you all happiness, love, peace, and prosperity as well. Okay? Uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. I don't know.